Game two of the Miles Wolf Cup Finals at Franklin Field yesterday. The Milwaukee Milkmen entering with a 1-0 lead. Fargo Moorhead trying to turn the tables and level the series. I'm Carter Wadeel. It's the American Association Whip Around, and it's time to get to some highlights. We pick things up in the third inning. Two on for Leo Pina for Fargo Moorhead. It's that one to right, and that one is off the wall for extra bases. Drew Ward and Christian Correa come in to score. Pina would later score on a grounder later in that inning, so the Red Hawks would take a 3-0 lead. Bottom of the third, the Milkmen responded with a triple of their own, courtesy of Brian Torres. That one just fair down the right field line. It brings in Jeremiah Burks with the three-bagger. Makes it 3-1. Three to one. Torres was 3-5 for five in this game. Very next pitch to Logan Trowbridge. That's an RBI single. That's good enough to score Torres once it bounces on that turf. And now it's a one-run ball game. 3-2. to two. It would stay that way for the next couple of frames. Davis Feldman was solid at the start for Fargo Moorhead. Five innings for him. Two runs on six hits. He walks two and strikes out three. The Red Hawks would pad their lead in the later innings. This is Alec Oland with an RBI single in the sixth out to center field. John Silviano trots home to score, makes it four to two Red Hawks. And in the seventh, Manny Boscan comes through with two run double to score Ward and Pena here down the left field line. And that would make it six to two Fargo Moorhead once all was said and done in that inning. And the Red Hawks were not done. In the eighth, Christian Correa with an RBI single here for Fargo Moorhead. That would score Evan Alexander and make it seven to two Red Hawks. In the bottom half, the Milkmen would wind up getting one back. Keon Barnum at the dish year and that one has gone for an opposite field solo home run his second blast of the playoffs to make it seven to three but that would be the final score of this game ninth inning Alex Dubord finishes off a one two three frame courtesy of a great diving stop from Bo Scott underhands to the Red Hawks closer and that is all she wrote seven to three the final score in game two the Red Hawks get the W and they split the two games in Milwaukee before this series turns to Fargo a travel day today in the Miles Wolf Cup finals but the final three games games of this series, if there is a Game 5 that is, will be at Newman Outdoor Field, home of the Red Hawks. Those games Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, first pitch time is 6.30 for all three of those contests, and I'll be there with Michael Lang as my analyst to broadcast all of those games on AABaseball.tv, as well as a whole host of other places, including Facebook Live, Twitter, YouTube. Make sure you join us. This is going to be a thrilling conclusion to the American Association season. We can't wait to bring it to you. I'm Carter Wadeal for the American Association, where we play to win.